Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, what I would like to do is show you how to pass the data from a list view like this uh, to a details view. So in this example, what we're going to do is create a, a um, list view of candidates. So I've already already have this in here. Um, this this should be a list view or a column. Yeah. And all I did was I set a backend query. So I selected the list view. Um, I then selected the backend query and selected the collection I want to populate this list, which is users. And then I did a list of records. Um, then I did an order by. Um, you can filter this list. You can do order by, you know, increasing or decreasing, um, what have you, whatever you'd like to. Um, and then basically, how you get this design in the in the list is you just drag over a UI element, right? Like a layout object, um, a container or a row um, or a column over here or a card. Um, and then you just drag stuff into that uh, layout element and whatever you, you drag into that layout element, it'll populate, um, that'll be like your base design. And then whatever else is fed from Firestore will populate that design. Um, the second thing you'll need to do is once you add stuff to your um, your base design, well, that's what we'll just call this top card. We'll call it a base design. Um, oop, not now. Um, you'll need to set some of the elements or widgets in here um, to variables. So I'll show you right here. And all you'll do is you know you can drag your elements over here. This is not really a layout tutorial, um, but once you have your elements, you can select, so if it's text set from variable, come over here. I'll remove this for now and I'll show you how to do it. So set from variable, source, users record, that's coming from the list view. This is the back end call. Basically what that's doing is it's giving us the field values that's in our document. So users record, and then we have all of these values. These are all strings. Uh, yeah, so these are all the strings that I have. So we're gonna select display name. And then you can show a default value. So if that uh, user doesn't have a display name, we can show a default value. So you could do like uh, random user or something like that. We can do that right now, random user. Uh, Barack Obama, something like that. Save it out and it'll be, uh, it'll populate here. We did the same thing with the position title um, and the email. We just selected from variable. So I'll remove that. I'll do it again. Uh, set from variable, user's record. And then we did email for this one. No email will be the default value. All right, so we have this um, det candidate details page. So we just set the candidate list view. Now we have this candidate details page. And there's a few things we need to do on this page and then on this page in order to feed that exact data from this candidate list to the candidate details. So we have a dynamic list here, but we need to do a, a couple more things. So the first thing is let's set parameters for this page. So we're gonna come over here, set parameters. And uh, we're gonna do candidate details. You can name this however you want. Um, I like to be somewhat specific um, on what it is. We're gonna grab from the user record. And we're just gonna save that. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to come here to document reference. Um, we, all right, I'm just gonna start from the beginning. We're going to do document from reference and then users, and then the source will be that candidate details. Okay, so that's the first thing. We've already set some of these dynamic things. Uh, I did copy this from the profile page, so I'm gonna go back through here and then reset these. So we have user record, uh, display name, perfect, that's gonna work. The rest of these should work as well. I think this is the only one that won't. So we have this for variable users record, uh, we're going to do salary here, okay, and that should be good. Basically this combined text, it's just showing a 
a dollar sign at the beginning and then a K amount at the end. Um, okay, so what we did was we set a parameter. We click this little uh, rectangle with the two dots and then added parameters. And then we also did a back end query on the page itself. And we grabbed a document for reference, users, candidate detail. Okay, now what we want to do is come back to candidates page and then we want to set an action. I'm going to do it on this container. Yeah, this would be just on the container. Um, so we're going to set an action on tap. We're going to navigate and we're going to navigate to a page and then we're going to select the page. So in this case, we want to select candidate, detail, candidate details. The transition type is going to be default. It's going to slide to the left. We want to, we get this button for passing parameters because we set parameters on the next page. Um, if you don't see this button, it's because the page that you're navigating to does not have any parameters. So let's go ahead and set that up. We're going to do parameter candidate details. Um, if there's multiple parameters, you can select which ones you want to pass. And we're going to do from user's record. And then we're going to just pass in this reference. This is super important. If we don't do this, um, when we click this card and go to the candidate details, it'll just be a generic uh, candidate. It will be the first candidate in, in the user list. That's it. So passing this parameter will give us a dynamic uh, list view and then a dynamic details view as well. Awesome. We're going to run this and we'll come back to it. Awesome. So we have run mode and we can just navigate. This is our app. Um, we'll go to candidates. And as you can see, we're getting a list of candidates. Um, so these are all of our users. Um, they have dynamic data. So we have names here, um, titles and emails. And then this is our details view. So as you can see, we're passing dynamic data from the list view to the details view which is very cool. It's amazing that you can do this in Flutterflow. Um, this took us, what, five minutes to set up, um, or eight minutes total, I guess. Yeah, so I hope this helps and that you have fun building. Um, so good luck, leave comments below.